as to your mind. So, you know, my friends, I wasn't always this way. I wasn't always soft-spoken, understanding, and able to communicate well. It took practice, patience, focus, time for me to grow. It's not like a snap of a finger and boom, you're an expert. You have to build your way up. So, just wanted to mention that on a relatable level. I'm human. I want to talk today not about how to use your energy because I can make another video for you on how to use your energy, like do some exercises with it. Um, just talk about steps of using it. There are steps to using it and we'll also discuss how. So, let's say you wanted to use your energy but didn't know how. So you begin to practice using it. Like a simple meditation, just some breathing techniques maybe, listening to some sound vibrations, sounds, colors, anything that you can see, hear, taste, feel to all of your senses, anything you can use your senses with, it is in touch with your energy, with your vibrational levels, your frequencies. So uh, let's just say that you are listening to some great sounds and vibrations and you're just lying down meditating, practicing, meditating, practicing your breathing. So you want to use your energy, don't know how to, but you begin to practice using it. And at first you feel nothing and you see no results, but that doesn't mean it's not working. You just can't see a physical result yet. So first you see nothing for the first however long, and then all of a sudden, mid-practice, mid-meditation, one day, you start feeling sensations, because even though you haven't been seeing much of a difference, you kept practicing, not noticing it was working from the inside out. And finally, you started noticing one day, you started paying more attention to your body, and you started feeling sensations. And the sensations, all they did was make you feel good, or so you thought it was only making you feel good, but really it was activating. And after you activate it, you use it. And you realize that you use it by focusing on it, relaxing and allowing it. We prevent it by overwhelming, overthinking, worrying, and by trying to make it happen. You don't have to make it happen. You never have to make it happen. You just focused on you and it happens. You keep yourself balanced. You keep yourself at peace and it aligns. You don't have to do anything but allow, accept, and receive. Do not resist. Do not think. Do not react. Allow and relax. Relax and allow. You set your intention. This is what I have. And you allow. And focus on good things that you would like to have. Only focus on having them right now. Tell yourself you have these things, you own these things, you are these things. Do not only desire, get excited. You have it, you own it, you are it. Desiring means you want, and if you want it is because you lack. You do not lack, you do not want, you do not desire. I am, I own, I have. I love, I accept, I appreciate, I enjoy only present statements, not past nor future. So not I was, which is in the past, not I will, which is still setting it off to the future. And you see what we've been taught? Yes, these are things we were taught to say, the I want and I will and to ask and beg for it, own it. You have it already. Speak it and own it. Your words are as powerful as anything and everything else. So, you just have to be at peace. 
you already have. Be at peace with what you have already and simply allow. So now focus on having, being, owning, accepting, loving, appreciating, and enjoying it now. How does it feel to be that wealthy now? Get excited, really act it out. How does it feel to be that loved? Really feel that love as if it already existed because it does. You've been searching for something that's been there all along and you, you have it. You have love, but you were focused on other people's love. Focus all that energy on you. Literally feel it. Feel your hair blowing in the wind and the sun on your skin and that drop top that you're thinking about and dreaming that you have. Don't think, dream, and desire. Have it. Feel it right now. It feels so great. It's warm. My hair's blowing. I'm driving at a nice speed. I'm listening to some music and it feels carefree. It feels worry free. It feels free. It feels great. You do so by feeling the enjoyment of it. Like when you get it, you know how happy you will be. Don't will it, remember? Be that happy now because you have it. You just have to relax and allow it to align. Focus on it while you get excited about it. So then you can activate the vibrations or energy in your body that will magnetically attract what you're claiming to already have. You're coercing your subconscious, consciously. Meaning you're awake while you're training and persuading your subconscious. And there are ways to do this while you're asleep as well. But that's for another video. So you practice. And nothing for a while happens. But after a while again, it starts working from the inside out unto be known to you. And you feel sensations once you start paying attention to how your body is reacting to just relaxing and just hearing sounds and vibrations. And after accepting and allowing and affirming yourself and the activation that comes about, you use your energy. And of course, you're not going to be perfect at using it initially. You just gain use of it. It's easy to lose balance of something you never used before. You must train, practice, balance, and fine-tune. So now we're going to go on about training a little bit. Discipline. Discipline is not perfection. It is correction. Say it. I am disciplined. You don't have to be perfect to say that. Because discipline is not perfection. It is correction. So I am disciplined. And the fact that you take the time out to correct yourself proves it. Perfection will come with practice. And I don't know why we always say that to ourselves. Nobody's perfect. We can't be perfect. Yes, you can. And yes, somebody is. Perfection will come with practice and it will be easy. It will become second nature. I am capable of doing not just anything, but everything I want to do. Perfection is not doing anything wrong. That's not discipline. Discipline is doing something wrong, but catching yourself and correcting it. That's discipline. If you were perfect, you wouldn't do anything wrong. And where is the discipline needed there? Discipline is not needed for perfection. If you're perfect, if you're perfect already, you don't need to be disciplined. Discipline is not perfection. So you can say, I am disciplined and not be perfect because it is not for perfection, it's for correction. I am disciplined. Peace to you all. I love you guys.